How's it going YouTube? My name is Ari and welcome to Blue Lion Finance, a channel dedicated to investing in my very own personal journey to amassing $100,000 within my Vanguard brokerage account, which is seemingly next to impossible day in and day out with each passing day bringing in more losses. The stock market is not letting up in the slightest on those losses. We experienced the worst three day stretch since 2020. All three composites down from the Dow, S&P and the NASDAQ getting butchered. My personal account is not an exception to the rule. It plummeted by $1,832.8 cents, bring my account total down to $86,343.51 on the day, but please don't lose it over this near-term volatility because that is exactly what it is, near-term volatility. Just keep in mind that wealth usually is created during periods where fear and uncertainty are riddling the market. So today, I want to quickly dive into a brief market overview before sharing the one stock that I am highly recommending you at bare minimum look into. And of course, if you like what you see, go ahead and invest into it. You will not want to miss out on today's video. This stock is just a fail-safe opportunity for us all. So before we dive in, tap on that thumbs up button as it certainly helps me out in growing this channel and getting the word out there. If you haven't already subscribed, make your way over to doing so. I'd love for each and every one of you to be on this journey with me. Now, YouTube, let's go ahead and dive right in. So I certainly hope what I'm about to share with you isn't new news and that's the stock market may very well be in the rut of a recession and soon. The scheme you know, forecasts about a 30 or 35 percent chance of a recession in the next couple of years. I don't think speculating whether that's high, low, is it 30 or 35, is it 40 or 50, I don't think that really matters. Inflation caused by demand, that'd be one thing. Uh, so you get the inflation shock and now we're going to get the interest rate shock. Either way, we get a recession out of it. From the grocery store to the gas pump, the car lot, the home improvement store, to new mortgages and new rents, Americans are caught in the vortex of high prices and now signs the economy is shrinking. As we see these financial conditions tighten, many of what you just talked about, stocks down, rates up, dollar way up. Over time, if this continues, then you set yourself up for a, a scenario where maybe, you know, a few quarters down the line, recession becomes more of a um, possibility. I like what the market's doing today. I, I, you know, frankly, I think it's an underreaction to the fact that we're probably in a recession. Heck, we've been hearing it all over the news and just one macro level overview of the market is telling of such a story with ongoing COVID lockdowns in China, which continue to threaten another turndown in the world's second largest economy in addition to disrupting U.S. companies supply chains and dare I even mention inflation at 8.5%. Now, even if the U.S. consumer price index data for April presents itself lower today, but not quite at 8.1% where economists are expecting it to be, investors will likely panic and grow more fearful that the Federal Reserve will then have to move all too quickly in raising interest rates and tightening monetary policy which, of course, any movements that happen too quickly would pinch the economic growth, further spurring a recession. So what exactly is the investor to be doing? Well, I'm happy you asked because first and foremost, just remain calm. God, OK, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just what always instills peace of mind for me is just zooming out to look at the bigger picture over any longer span of history, whether it is the Dow, S&P, or the NASDAQ, these composites rose exponentially over time. Thus, the fact is so that I am a long-term value investor, so I have no real need to even concern myself with near-term volatility. And what is happening right now in a week from now, or even two to three months from now, will likely be insignificant come two to three to five and 10 years from now. So this leads me to sharing that it's incredibly important important for every single one of us to have a strategy or process in place and follow through on it regardless of the state of the market. That is exactly what a good process will allow any and all investors to do, just invest with ease. Now, for me, I keep it really simple by way of dollar cost averaging into what I deem high quality investments on a weekly basis. Well, the stocks I may double down on differ depending on whether or not I find them to be at attractive valuations. There is one in fact that I deem a fail safe investment that I double down on weekly. 
That stock is Vanguard's total stock market index fund, ticker symbol VTI, which seeks to track the performance of the US total stock market, meaning you will get to invest into over 4,000 stocks ranging from small, mid, and large caps that are either growth opportunities or value investments. Think Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Tesla, Berkshire Hathaway, Meta Platforms, United Health, and Johnson & Johnson. The fund itself has net assets totaling over $1.3 trillion with an expense ratio at 0.03%. You cannot lose with it. Matter of fact, investing in such a fund is exactly what one of our greatest investment sages of all times, Warren Buffett, suggests for anyone and every one of us. Have a look. In 1942, when I bought my first stock as an illustration, of all the things that have happened since 1942, we've had, we've had uh, 14 presidents, seven Republicans, seven Democrats. We've had, we've had world wars, we had 9-11, we had the Cuban Missile Crisis, we have, a, we have all kinds of things. The best single thing you could have done on March 11th, 1942, when I bought my first stock, was just buy an index fund and, 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 and Never look at a headline, never think about stocks anymore, just like you would do if you bought a farm. You just buy the farm or let the, let the tenant farmer run it for you. And I pointed out that if you'd put $10,000 in an index fund that reinvested dividends, and I paused for a moment to let the audience try and guess how much it amounted to, and it would come to $51 million now. And the only thing you had to really believe in then is that America would win the war and that America would progress as it has ever since 1776. And that American business, if America moved forward, American business would move forward. You didn't have to worry about what stock to buy. You didn't have to worry what day to get in and out. You didn't, you didn't know the Federal Reserve would exist, <laughs> whatever it might be. And uh, uh, America works. With all that said, I went ahead yesterday to further double down my position with Vanguard's total stock market index fund, spending $1,000 in doing so, and now bring my share count up to 60 total shares worth of this pot of gold. I plan on continuing to dollar cost average my way into the fund and will not even think about stopping until I reach 100 total shares worth of it. But even thereafter, I will only keep allocating more money into the fund as it remains that fail-safe investment for me. And honestly just allows me to continue to make that bet on America and of course the stock market in and of itself. You won't go wrong with in doing so. Now YouTube, that is it for today. If you like what you heard, you learned something new, let me know and drop all those comments down below. Feel free to also let me know if you have personally been doubling down on a particular investment or if you have in fact just been sitting sidelines, I can totally understand that as well. Now also understand that I am not a financial advisor, so always just do your own due diligence following my videos and before making any investment decisions. Before we actually get going here, I want you to do me a massive favor in tapping on that thumbs up button as it certainly helps me out in growing this channel. Now while you're at it, do yourself a favor as well and subscribing to the channel. I'd love for each and every one of you to be on this journey with me. It is a true win-win. Now YouTube, until the next video, I will see you all there.